Hey, what is going on? I'm Dave from Taking Droid back with another new video for the Loico LE2. So today in this video, we're gonna be checking out the new Experience ROM for the Loico LE2. So if you don't know about Experience ROM, it's a custom ROM based on AOSP. And if you wanna install this ROM, link for the ROM will be in the description below. And if you don't know how to install a custom ROM, you can check out any of my previous tutorial videos. So starting off with the home screen, the ROM comes with two launchers built in, Xperia Launcher and Snapdragon Launcher. You can choose either of them based on your preference. The ROM is also pre-rooted with Magisk and in terms of overall performance and stability of the ROM, it's just the same as any other Nougat based ROM. But I did face a couple of bugs that are specific to this ROM. So the first thing is, in camera, video recording kept crashing for me since the first boot and later i found out that it's because by default the video resolution is set at 4k but then changing it to full hd solved the issue and the next issue i faced is with navigation bar so the rom has option to enable on-screen navigation bar and also to disable hardware keys which is a really fantastic thing but the issue is while using on-screen navigation bar the back button is less responsive and at times it even ceases to work. And apart from these bugs, there's also the usual IR Blaster bug, but that's a workaround for it. I will leave a card right here. Check it out. Now, in terms of features, the ROM has some really unique features like active display, which is similar to what we get on Motorola smartphones. It lets you peek at notifications from the lock screen. And another interesting feature was the app sidebar but unfortunately i couldn't get it to work or i don't know if it is a bug but i haven't used this feature previously so i don't know if it was my fault so correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section below and then there's also an inbuilt kernel app known as alessa or alsa i don't know it's similar to that of kernel auditor it lets you tweak the kernel and so now moving on, quite a few of you asked me to add anti to benchmark in my custom ROM videos, so here's it. And that's it for this video guys if you like this video go down and hit the like button for more videos hit the subscribe button and if you have any queries regarding the rom or anything in general you can leave it in the comment section below or you can also tweet out to me on twitter at dragon and i will see you all later see ya